I like meat, but I don't like to wear my meat. Get ready, because today I'm not holding back. We're diving into the cringe-worthy, the overly curated, and the straight-up questionable outfits on Instagram. Hashtag no filter, hashtag no mercy. If you're sensitive about your unique style choices, consider this your warning. First outfit. I'm gonna call this the grown up but make it like baby. Why? Because the sizing on this is way too small. Probably perfect for a baby, right? Is it just me? Or some of these outfits are looking more play date ready than Instagram worthy. The grown up dressed like a toddler. This trend is just plain exhausting if you're over the age of five maybe leave the way too small sizing dressed and outfits for a toddler how about trying a dress that actually fits you numero dos this one i'm going to call the fake grunge look this oh it's a classic people out here calling themselves grunge or edgy just because they put on some transparent dresses some moody colors honey grunge isn't a mood board it's an attitude you can't buy rebellion at the mall Posing like you don't care when you actually spend hours planning this look? That's not grunge. That's cosplay. Just because you threw on some transparency, some see-through type of look. I mean, I don't know about you, but this dress is giving me meat vibes, right? It's like you see the flesh, spurs of like the red blood all over. Like this is just cringy. I like meat, but... I don't like to wear my meat. I don't know, maybe this translates better in person, but right now it's just giving me raw grade A sirloin and I'm not in the market for anything raw. Numero tres. I'm gonna call this the influencer formula. Ah, the formulaic influencer look. I know what you're thinking, where is the look? But this is the point. She's not wearing anything. I mean, you're working out in a bathing suit. Now, how desperate are we? There's no perfectly neutral tones or matching sets here or anything stylish about this. Hell, there's not even clothing. The one thing we actually need here. It's just straight up, you're working out in a bikini. Like, God damn. Do you not notice that the richer people get, the less clothing they wear? All for the sake of catching the Instagram aesthetic vibe and getting hits. Hell, maybe I should try this. It's like fashion for robots. Same pose, same filter. Where's the individuality? A donde? If I had a dollar for every influencer <laughs> I seen rocking the same bikini look, working out, mind you, I'd be at Bora Bora right now. I feel like a hot mess. Numero cuatro. I'm gonna call this a clown couture. <laughs> I love Shakira, you know, I love Shakira because Shakira low-key is the closest person that I could somehow relate to on TV, right? Because she's light-skinned, she's ethnic, she has curly hair. 100% of everybody on TV has straight hair for some reason and I just never click with that. So, you know, little things, but I relate to her. So it hurts me to say this, but we're talking about the outfit, not the person. Why do I name this clown couture, you ask? Because the boots look like it's three sizes bigger than her foot i mean look at the shoe i don't know when she was walking and i saw it in a video format it literally looked like it was bigger than her feet and her legs put together i found myself gravitating towards looking at the boots more than the outfit clown couture anyone did your closet throw up on you or did you actually choose this listen i'm all about creativity if you didn't know but there's a lot and this outfit just cannonballed all over it and wait is this a trend i miss or are we just forgetting how to dress at this point it just looks off like the balance to me it just looks like the whole circus had a wardrobe malfunction Ultimo. This one I call seasonably confused. And granted, I'm sure this person wasn't even in New York City, but even in New York City, we've been having these fluctuating weather patterns where it's like 51 day and the next day is 65 to 70 degrees. We even had 78 degrees. So this might be a little bit confusing because hell, the weather is confusing, right? But I've seen this in the midst of winter here in New York City when your girl goes out and be a brat out in the city frolicking my little paws i'm just saying did they check the weather or they just said who 
the hell needs seasons, right? I don't know how they do it. I've seen this so many times. It's like it's freezing outside, and then you will have the girls that come around scantily, scantily, scantily clad in outfits like this, and I'm like, I don't know how you survived the night. And they're wearing heels, sandals with their toes out. Some of them have gotten so extreme that they come with no jacket, so they won't pay to check in their jacket. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't mind spending $10 instead of my copay at the ER. Just make it make sense. I mean, at least you could have wear maybe some tights or something, some stockings to cover up a little bit more. That would have been more justified. I mean, I actually feel bad for her. Like I would feel bad for her. And I have when I had a couple of drinks in my system. I'm just confused. Are we dressing for a beach day or a snowstorm? This is uh, truly a fashion identity crisis in the making. Or it's me, it's here. I'm not gonna lie, I like short dresses. But this is on the verge of like getting arrested. And because this video is about roasting, the word roast in Spanish is asar. Say it with me, asar. The reason why I'm doing this is because I went and auditioned for Nuestra Belleza Latina here in New York City and it was bittersweet. I didn't get it, which was the bitter part, but the sweet part is they told me so many compliments there that there's no reason I should be upset. They were actually going to pick me out of like, I don't know how many girls. And the reason they didn't pick me was because even though I am Latin, my Spanish sucks. I can have a conversation. I can speak with my family, of course, but you can tell that my Spanish is not up to par. And so my Spanish, according to them, wasn't fluent and that's why I didn't get it so from now on we're gonna learn some Spanish because I need to learn Spanish and YouTube <laughs>